Hey ladies, so this is kind of going to be a more, I guess, like information, get to know me video. I'm not really quite sure what to call it. Um, but I have a lot of, I've had a lot of questions about this and kind of a lot of hateful comments. Um, so I just kind of wanted to, I guess, tell you guys a little bit about myself and my journey. So this video is going to be all about what's wrong with my eyes. Um, so a lot of you guys might have noticed in some of my videos, um, my my right eye, I guess, would be considered a lazy eye. Um, it's kind of funny to say that word to me now because growing up, I would never say that. I never, you know, thought of it that way just because it was kind of hurtful. It's my right eye. Um, I can, I'm legally blind in my right eye. Um, I've lost almost my entire vision out of my right eye. And my left eye, um, my vision in that one is, is terrible as well. Um, I do a lot of things as far as um, like seeing things or vision things. I do a lot of things by memory. Um, I can see out of my left eye, but my vision in that eye is not the greatest. Um, I'm able to, you know, function and see um, somewhat out of my left eye. Um, but most of the time I do a lot of things um, like turning on the stove or doing laundry. Um, I do a lot of things by memory other than besides looking at it because it is hard for me to see um, smaller details and smaller print. Um, it takes me a, a long time to kind of, I guess, you know, a, acquire the ability to do, to do something, whereas, you know, to do something, I guess, with fine detail, whereas other people would take them, you know, right away because you can see. Um, but how this happened, um, I was actually born premature at 26 weeks back in 1991, so back then, um, the fact that I survived was, you know, um, a miracle. I only had a 15 to 20 percent chance of survival. They pretty much told my parents when I was born to plan for my funeral because um, they did not think I was going to make it 24 hours because I was very sick. I had a lot of things happen to me in that time period. Um, I had sepsis really bad. Um, I almost died from that. Um, I had a hole in my heart and I was ventilator dependent. I was not able to breathe on my own. A machine was breathing for me. Um, I was also given a total blood transfusion to match the blood platelets to my own blood platelets, and in turn, I ended up getting the wrong blood type. In my birth, I was actually born, actually my mom was able to um, go, go through natural birth. It was actually kind of surprising to her um, because by the time that she got to the hospital she was already 10 centimeters dilated. Mom was diagnosed then with incompetent cervix. Um, the fact that she carried me that you know to that point is really amazing. Um, during my birth the retinas um, it, the retinas detached from my eyes and reattached. Not able to um, drive. I can't drive at all. Um, that's, you know, something I've known since I was a teenager, which kind of sucks, especially now when you're 25 years old and, um, when you're 25 years old and you have two kids and you kind of have to depend on family and friends to, you know, bring you to appointments, um, it's, you know, it's really tough. But, you know, it's just something that I, I live with on a day-to-day -day basis and, um, it, it's life for me. I don't, I feel like if I didn't have this and I had somehow acquired vision in my eyes, uh, better vision in both my eyes, I feel like I wouldn't know what to do with myself because I've learned to function like this, you know, my entire life. So it's not any different to me. Um, the hurtful comments don't bother me anymore. They did when I was younger. Um, I was bullied pretty bad as a kid. Um, I had a lot of corrective surgeries in my, to, in my right eye to correct the alignment so that it, you know, matched with my left eye. Um, but because I had so much scar tissue from previous surgeries, they could only do their best. And um, my brain essentially has shut off the function again in my, in my right eye. Um, so that is why sometimes I look a little bit cross-eyed in some of my videos. Um, but, you know, it doesn't bother me. Um, but like I said, when I was a kid, it really did. Um, I really wish, you know, I really wished back then that I was a different, I was a different person and I wish I had, you know, the perfect vision. But now that I'm older and now that I've experienced having a premature baby and, you know, now that I can look back on that, you know, despite that everything that I went through, I was a really sick baby. I could have died. Um, I'm really thankful that I escaped you know that I was able to you know become stronger and I thrived and I lived and I know that there were things I could have been worse off 
Um, so I know that I could be worse off than what I am, and I'm really thankful to God that he, you know, I'm really thankful that, you know, God put in place amazing doctors and nurses that took care of me, um, for my parents for taking care of me and, you know, keeping me strong. Um, one of the things that my mom did, and I didn't know this, she spent every day there in the NICU with me. She read to me, both my parents read to me, and they did that just in case in the event that I died, that they would know that I was very loved. And it kind of makes me emotional thinking that because I felt the same way with Dallas. And, um, you know, your, your love for your children, you know, it's just, it's so profound. And I feel like because of their love, that's what kept me fighting. And because of my love for Dallas, that's what kept him fighting. So, um, <laughs> sorry for another emotional video. Um, I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that and kind of maybe detour some of the hate comments, which again, I really don't care, but there were some questions in there and it's, I guess it's normal for, you know, human nature to be curious. And so I just wanted to do a video on that and kind of let you guys know a little bit about me. So, um, I will see you guys for my next video.